The focus of our topic is centered around the definition of the service and its various components, as specified in Article 100. It is essential for us to have a clear understanding of these foundational definitions in order to facilitate our upcoming discussion. Hello, everyone, and a warm welcome to the Codesultant channel. Service. The conductors and equipment connecting the serving utility to the wiring system of the premises served. The term, service, encompasses all the materials and equipment involved in the transmission of electric power from the utility distribution line to the electrical wiring system of the premises being supplied. However, if the electric energy is supplied by a different entity other than the serving utility, it does not fall under the category of a service. In such cases, the installation would consist of one or more feeders and building disconnects, which are regulated by the NEC. The NEC covered will start after the service point going to the premises wiring. The service point is defined by the code as the point of connection between the facilities of the serving utility and the premises wiring. The positioning of the service point is subject to variation based on the specific installation type, with the electrical utility typically determining its location. The service point can be found near the service entrance or extend only up to the transformer disconnect in certain scenarios. For underground installations, the service point may be situated in the handhold or extend only up to the transformer disconnect. The service point serves as the dividing line between the utility's responsibility and the customer's responsibility. Moreover, the associated terminology undergoes changes depending on the location of the service point. For instance, if the service is situated near the service entrance, the corresponding conductors are referred to as service drop conductors. Conversely, if the service point is located at the transformer disconnect, these conductors are known as service conductors. The National Electrical Code covers only the conductors on the premises wiring side of the service point. These conductors are known as service conductors, as defined by the NEC, and they extend from the service point to the service disconnecting means. In the given illustration, the service point represents the connection to the terminals on the load side of a utility transformer. The conductor that runs from the service point to the service disconnect is specifically referred to as the service conductor according to the NEC the term, service conductors encompasses various types such as overhead service conductors, underground service conductors, and service entrance conductors. However, it specifically excludes any wiring on the supply side, serving utility side, of the service point. Let's clarify the distinctions between overhead service conductors, underground service conductors, service drop, and service lateral. Overhead service conductors refer to the conductors running between the service point and the initial connection point with the service entrance conductors at a building or structure. On the other hand, a service drop is defined as the overhead conductor that connects the utility electric supply system to the service point. In the provided illustration of an overhead installation, if the service point is located near the service entrance, these conductors are referred to as service drop. However, if the service point is at the transformer disconnect or the transformer itself, these conductors are called service conductors, overhead. Now, let's discuss service laterals and underground service conductors. In the illustration depicting an underground installation, if the service point is at the handhole, the conductors are known as service laterals. Any conductors beyond the service point in this scenario are called service conductors, underground. If the service point is at the transformer or the disconnect of the transformer, the conductors are specifically referred to as underground service conductors. It's important to note that service drops are associated with overhead installations, while service lateral are related to underground installations, and both types of conductors fall under the responsibility of the utility. How about service entrance conductors? These are the service conductors between the terminals of the service equipment and the service drop, overhead service conductors, service lateral, or underground service conductors. In the provided illustration, there is a depiction of a service entrance conductor that is connected, at the point of attachment, to service drop conductors. These conductors run down the side of the house, pass through the meter socket, and ultimately terminate at the service equipment. Whether it is a service drop or service conductors, the term, service drop, remains consistent, regardless of whether the service point originates from a utility transformer or pole. In a separate illustration, the service laterals are connected to the transformer, and the service point is located at the handhold. From there, the next step is the transition to the underground service conductors, which are then terminated at the service meter. Additionally, the service entrance conductors are connected to the service conductors through the service meter up to the service equipment. 
service equipment. The necessary equipment, usually consisting of a circuit breaker or switch and fuse and their accessories, connected to the load end of service conductors to a building or other structure, or an otherwise designated area, and intended to constitute the main control and cutoff of the supply. The service equipment allows for the disconnection of power from the utility service to the building, ensuring safety during maintenance, repairs, or emergencies. It serves as a crucial component in electrical systems, enabling authorized individuals to isolate the electrical supply and prevent the flow of electricity to the building, protecting both people and property. Due to its crucial function in disconnecting the power source, it is commonly referred to as a service disconnect. Thank you all for watching.